So, this is Pollo 406. Yes, Pollo 406, a lot of Nigerians have started to appreciate. Back in the days, people would tell you, oh, stay away from 406. Oh, it's very, very problematic. The engine cost timing belts every minute of the day. The electric car fails apart once it gets to 100,000 kilometers mileage. You know, there's no sort, you can you just think of any negative thing is attributed to this vehicle. And here is the vehicle. And it's Pojo 406. And then, it's not just Pojo 406. It's Pojo 406 V6. You damn right. It's V6. Look at it here, right? Yeah. So, um, I'm not here to waste time. I'm actually here to just do the drive. Um, for the start, this uh, actually production started in 1995, if I'm not mistaken. And um, so it's more like a 1995 design. However, I was facelifted in 99 so this is the first lifted model of course this particular one was produced in 2000 the year 2000 even the remote yep even the remote still works 19 years after the remote control this is the one that came with the vehicle from brand new it still works you know you can see so, the reason why I love this particular one is the interior. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. I love this interior. In fact, each time I sit inside it, I never want to go out. You know, so good. As in, if Pojo could think of such a marvelous design in the year 2000, almost 19 years ago. You can you imagine what their current or their newest car would be like? Guys, I mean, look at the leather. You can feel the leather as in up to now, after 19 years, it still feels very, very soft, not faded, nothing. As in, it's fantastic. Fantastic. I mean, even the the rug, the floor mat is actually a rug, you know, same clean color. It's fantastic. The roof as well, it's more like a rug, you know. It has been like this, has never been touched. Fantastic. I mean, I love this car. I love this car. Especially when you look at it from the rear view, you know, ah, it's kind of looks cool. 19 years after the production, it still stands out among the new car. as a very, very, uh, you know, recent vehicle. <sighs> okay. Every part of the vehicle still looks almost new, you know. Look at it, no crack, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Of course, it, have, uh, it has a uh, rear sun blind. This is the factory one. This particular Pojo 406 V6 is the type they call, uh, the Nigerians call full option. But the actual trim is SV, as the trim. Well, but honestly, I love this car. I love this car. You know one interesting thing about Pojo 406 too is uh, it has a name. You no, know, if you want to even look at the name 406, which if you put it in alphabetical order is like Fox F O X. So it has the nickname Fox. And when you look at the fourth end, the headlamp. 
the fog lights, the way they arrange everything and the shape. It kind of give it that first look. Yeah, it does. Damn, I love this guy. I love this guy. Um, I know some of you are wondering, ah, this is engine. Okay, let's check the engine bay. Alright. Uh. Damn. Yeah. Of course, I know I see this always, but sometimes when I open it, I, the affiliation just flows effortlessly to the vehicle. 19 year old engine still the way it was when i got this car seven years ago and from the history of this car this is how it has been from brand new i'll still talk about uh, the engine the parts and they are more like the wearable parts but man so this is the almighty es9 j4s vcc engine produced by Pojo and the North. And a room also had it that Porsche also helped in designing the cylinder head. It could be two. And it has a 210 horsepower, the maximum. Um, right, so let's try to get to it because I'm here to drive and show you guys how this car drives. And you know the interesting thing is thick, manual. Oof! God damn it! I think the ability to control so much power all by yourself, not by some computer. That's the interesting part of this car. Right? I mean, you know, a lot of people will tell you, oh! Auto is better with policies and all that. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I do. Oh, let's try it. Um, for example, when you, right, you can see how good the remote works. 19 years after, you know. Um, like I was saying, a lot of people will tell you, oh, uh, Automatic is better in VCs and all that, but then ah, I can tell you I own both automatic and the manual VCs Pujo vehicles. So, um, well, you could say phone car can be subjective. Yeah? Maybe when I will review my personal VCs automatic, I will talk more on that. However, you do not understand the feeling of having the scale yes it's because it's a scale having the scale to control such a huge power by yourself not by computer or you know that drives the the transmission in automatic no you get to decide how to move the vehicle pull such power even to the peak you are the one doing it and it takes a scale to do that and why doing it that's where the fun part comes in yeah and this is five speed manual gearbox of course you can switch in six speed i've seen the six speed i know about six speed manual gearbox that can be installed but then this five speed gearbox actually do a, the same fund only that of course the six speed um maybe on a higher speed it will consume less but man I'm not even considering that, it's honestly, I'm okay with this 5 speed manual gearbox on this vehicle. Um, I mean, everything still works the way it is supposed to be from brand new. Everything, the tachometer, the temperature gauge, the oil temperature gauge, the fuel gauge, the speedometer, everything. I've not changed anything here, not even a bulb. You know, the multifunction display, you know, look at the radio, everything. Even it has a six, six, uh, loader, six CD loader in the boot. Factory came also with the 
CD player here in the front. Of course, the AC works. Of course, we put that to test too. Everything this car is marvelous. Of course, it has a this automatic uh, rear view mirror that blinds or reduces the rays at night. Damn. Okay, let's start it up. Oh, the mileage uh, is over 200,000 kilometers, about 220,000 now. Um, whew, did you hear the sound? <laughs> wow, that's cool. Yeah, the compressor just came out, the AC compressor just came up now. Uh, let me reduce it. You see, the good thing about this Pojo 406 VX is um, generally all 406 is. The AC is oof, oh la la, if I put it that way, as in, for example, look at where it is now, let me see if you can see that, the step, almost at step one, I've, I, I hardly go beyond this step two, on the blower, yet it feels like cold room, as in, look as if you are in a cold room, huh? Um, Let's carry it on. Uh, guys, I'm going to cover this face because uh, I know the kind of speed I do, so I'm not going to show you what I do. But you are here to enjoy the time with me if you want to. Um, yeah, this is the space where you put your phones. I mean, it's for them to even think of this in 2000 or 99. To put this kind of space, as if at that time there was no even GSM or phones yet. I thought about it. Oh, was there? Well, I'm not sure. But man, even when you look at it from here to the rear view, it makes a lot of sense. You know? I mean, listen to the engine sound. Oof! Yeah, that's the power. <laughs> okay, now let's go for the drive. Now, um, like I've told you, the Pojo 406 was, the production started in 1999, right? No, 1995, and eventually was facelifted in 99. And up to now, it's still a marvelous vehicle, you know, very, 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 very good vehicle in terms of reliability, in terms of durability, even economically, it, it is so good. I mean, look at, I'm driving on a rough road, but I hardly feel any bump. The suspension, the shock absorbers, every bit part of this vehicle is well thought of and well designed. And one good thing about this Peugeot 406 is also the suspension, specifically the shock absorber. They, la they are most like everlasting. Yeah, of course, eventually they wear out, but I'm talking about hundreds of thousands of kilometers, if well driven. Because of course, I know a lot of people who drive roughly on bad road and all that, but if well driven, you may end up not touching your shock absorber for like two to 400,000 kilometers. Guys, I'm not serious. That's how good the shock absorbers of this Peugeot 406 including both the four cylinder and the V6 ones. You know, it's basically like they're almost the same thing, but that's how good they are. And very, very cheap if you are buying a used one. I mean, the pe for example, the front ones, uh, if you are buying a, a fairly used good ones, you are looking at like seven, 7,000 ish, I think, between five to 7,000 or at most 8,000 ish. I mean, I'm talking about even with the spring, everything, it will be there. Of course, the new ones, the yes, original ones cost more. I mean, guys, look at, I'm driving on this rough road. Yes, it's moving fairly, fairly smoothly. As in, I don't feel anything. So, uh, moving on, uh, the engine. Yeah, I've talked about the engine that it has a two, uh, 210 horsepower. Very, very durable engine. This engine, you also find it in, for, um, in 607, uh, Pojo 407, uh, basically uh, 807, 
what else? If I any budget because uh, PSA have other brand of brands of vehicles, so it's not just like um, it's only budget car. So you could see all these uh, other high end uh, PSA vehicles produced within that era from 1999 to 2010 or 2009. Uh, like some C12 vehicles, uh, uh, D DS, yeah, DS2, you will find this engine there. Of course, at some point, there are a little bit uh, modification, which was nearly negligible, you know, you can't really tell the difference anyway, which you call ES9. So, that's how good this engine is, you know, very, very punchy, and the sound, ooh, very, very sweet, very sweet. As in this engine, it could be running, and you even know the engine is running. As in, you will not hear a damn thing. But in my own case, um, the exhaust, I kind of tweak the exhaust to give me this harsh sound while on vehicle speed, on high speed, so that you know I'll feel the speed, not just being too quiet. But some people prefer that quietness. But me, I, I like the raw aggressiveness, so that's why I prefer my own sound. You know. Okay, so I'm now on the expressway. Um, I mean, look at how smooth the engine, the gearbox synchronize with each other. You know, very good. Then I will talk about the manual gearbox. Of course, um, it's five speed, like I've mentioned before. And the good thing about this gearbox is, is also indestructible like the engine. In fact, the gearbox is more indestructible than the engine itself. It will outlast this vehicle. Guys, I'm not joking. You might think, oh, I'm just saying it because I love manual car. No. This gearbox, if the engine will last, let's assume the engine will last only 50,000 kilo, no, 500,000 kilometers before it dies. This gearbox will last you over a million kilometers mileage not a joke this is not a joke this is because i've been using budget cars so i know how indestructible i mean indestructible that as it is they are bulletproof no matter what you do to them they stay there the only way to kill this gearbox is if you keep running it without oil for days not even like you run it without oil for a day or two i'm talking about like for days or you are, you know, you take it for a drive and push it for like 200 kilometer uh, uh, distance without oil. Yeah, in that case, you run it because it's mechanical, it's supposed to run. But as long as there is oil in this gearbox, I mean, as long as there is oil in the gearbox, even as low, even if it's too low, this gearbox stays perfect. That's how good this gearbox is. You know? So, yeah, I love this gearbox. For those who want um, a Peugeot car they will buy, I won't have to worry about uh, the gearbox. Manual is it for you. You know? So, um, moving on. Now, this, this, this VCs, our Peugeot 406 VCs has um, what we call variable steering. Honestly, if until you drive it, that's when you understand what I mean. I mean, seriously, variable steering. And what does variable steering mean? It means the higher the vehicle speed, that's the, the faster I move, the harder the steering becomes. It will just stay like drum. While the lower the vehicle speed, that's when I reduce the speed or I'm just driving or I'm stationary, the steering, you can actually turn it with your two fingers. Guys, it's not a joke. You can turn it, if the car is stationary, you can turn it with two fingers, irrespective of the huge weight in the front end of the vehicle, which is the engine. Of course, the engine has a lot of weight because it's V6 and it's 3.0 liter engine. Yeah, you could still move it with your two fingers, with all those weight. But the good part is not when the vehicle is moving at low speed, 
for example, as I'm moving now, it's a little bit, yeah, it's hard because I'm already on a low speed now. So it's hard, but not as hard as it's supposed to be when the vehicle now increases speed. You know, that's how good this steering is. Variable steering and all Pojo 406 VCs have this steering. Only Pojo 406 comes with this variable steering in 406. I'm not I'm not saying all Pojo cars in 406. Only Pojo 406 comes with this variable steering because they are designed it for speed. They know the kind of power the engine possess and the kind of suspension the car has so they have to give it that kind of this so that <laughs> no matter the speed you are doing the car stays like drum on the road so that's a good part of this uh, steering system in fact, it's not only if it's completely different from the power steering it's called, it's called a variable ratio steering so yeah uh, I've already talked about the suspension that is very very soft it, it, you know not like it's very comfortable to be driven on very bad roads and not just on the bad road when you're high speed oof the car you can swerve it well I'm not saying uh, literally swerve the vehicle when you're very high speed but I mean you can smartly move the car around and it stays intact that's what I mean. He stays intact. The car doesn't push you. You don't feel, you feel very, very safe. That's the most part. You feel very, very safe because of the way they designed the suspensions. You know, the body front and the rear part of it. I mean, you need to see the rear cross member of this Pojo 406. Well designed with all kinds of components. I mean, it's, it's well thought after, you know. And of course, we now, which now hand, uh, affects the handling, the handling of this car, the road handling, oh, is very, very good. Yeah, you might think I'm pacing this car too much as if it doesn't have any uh, bad side. Well, you could say that, but I'm here to tell you why I love this car. That is what I'm telling you, why I love this car. Yeah, well, every once in a while, pass would break down, every once in a while, we we'll do some, uh, or some want annoying thing, but then, when you love something, it's unconditional. You don't love something because, oh, today I know it's because of that. I won't, I won't love that thing anymore. I won't love that person anymore. The lo love is unconditional. No matter what that thing does to you, you can't just help but love that thing. So that's why I love this car, because of the positive it shows us, show us on me. The positive I get from this car are way, way higher than the whatever negative he wants to do at me. You know and yes this is 19 year old vehicle 19 year old vehicle <laughs> are you guys sure I'm, I will switch off my phones this is 19 year old vehicles and it still moves as if it was just produced two weeks ago what I mean is the engine this is the same engine and yes I change engine oil almost at every eight months every eight to ten months that's what i do i use it uh what, total was nine thousand five w40 minimum eight months of course if, if you want you can do six months but i'm telling you what i do since i got this car for the past seven years the same engine the same alternator if I, if, I, if I can tell, the only thing I know I've changed on this engine is like the spark plugs. Okay, uh, they, they, the thermostats will probably might still be good, but these two people that uh, uh, delivered the vehicle to me removed it and uh, stupidly, like I said, they thought uh, it will overheat before it gets to Abuja. Very stupid idea. So I had to go and buy another thermostat. You know? Okay, what other things? I've changed the timing belt. In fact, I, I'm on the second time in bed since I got this car. Nothing else has happened. Uh, what else? The spark plug. Yes, I've changed the spark plugs. Uh, the two, uh, it has, you know, it has four CG sensors. I've changed two. The two upstream. Um, okay, the starter motor, I've changed that. Uh, I, I think, um, I can't remember what else. I, almost every other thing stays intact. 
The same thing with the gearbox, the clutch kit, everything from by the way this car was produced in 2000. It has been like this 19 years after. And not just 19 years after, seven years driven in Nigeria. Yet when you see some cars produced brand new, and the first two years they will be on Nigeria road, they will look horrible. But this car has been driven in like seven years on Nigeria road by me, and yet it still moves, the shape, everything. If I even forgot to mention, the body color is still intact from brand new, except the roof, you know, uh, because if you say in Abuja or northern part of the country, you understand what I mean. So, uh, the sun hit it and it faded up, including the bonnet. So I had to have the bonnet and the roof restrained. Other than that, every other part of the car still stay intact. See, beta, this is the original paint, so with the car from brand new, 19 years after. The reason why I mention this thing, people that will say, ah, but the four is a very problematic car. Ah, V6, stay away from V6, it's very decent. 19 years, guys, this is 19 years, over 200,000 kilometers. And I might think, ah, I'm not speeding. Don't worry, I'll get to it. <laughs> I'm just here to tell you before because I know once I get to that wall, oof, I have to shut up so I enjoy my drive, you know. So, and another thing is, the sound system, what am I guys, the AC, I'm already feeling very cold now, yet I'm just on speed to blower and the temperature is 16, not even the lower 16 yet, I'm feeling like, Ooh. that's how perfect, and this is some original compressor, I've not changed anything on this car in terms of the AC system, the same AC condenser, the same AC compressor, the same evaporator, the same uh, uh, AC expansion valve, everything that has to do with it. The only thing I've done is, uh, every once, uh, there was a time if there was a leakage, uh, so every once in a while I would top up gas, but that has been fixed. It was, it's only AC gas that I've uh, put on the AC system of this vehicle. So 19 years after all the AC parts, AC component, the air conditioning component of this vehicle, has been intact. Nothing, nothing has been changed or failed or malfunctioned. That's how good Pojo cars are. And that's how good specifically Pojo 406 VIXIS is. Now let's talk about the sound system. Like I said, this particular one is the one people call JB, um, uh, full option and all that. But specifically, this one is, um, it has a very good sound system. Very, very powerful sound system. And it's JBL. Of course, if you're into entertainment or uh, this, you will know what I mean by JBL. It's packaged by JBL. I mean, it, 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 it's as if you are in your city room listening to a very high, powerful, hi fi stereo system or what you call CD player or whatever the name is. Back then when I was in university, I used to call it, the, of course it's Hi-Fi, H-I hyphen F-I, you know. Uh, but now, I don't even know, it has, there are so many of them now, home theater or other. However, just back to what I'm talking about, the system is very, very powerful. Of course, I haven't touched anything. I've not changed the speakers, woof, equalizer, everything. Okay, let's hear it. Though I will keep it long uh, because, you know, if we play music longer, all this copy, YouTube will give you all this copyright crap. So I'm going to play it just for a few seconds and switch it off. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, when this sound system, this is factory, as in, no, I didn't install any aftermarket, nothing. This is still factory, the way the car was produced in 2000. It's still working 19 years after everything. Of course, you see the player that is working. Everything. So, no, I love this car. And uh, I think it's time for fun. 
you know. You know, this is time for fun. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, the good thing, like I said, about this car is ability to control the power of this vehicle. It takes a skin. Man, the movement, the acceleration is out of this world, man. It's out of this world, guys. Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, I love this car. I love this car. I love this car. You see, the good, another good thing about this car is the fuel economy. Now you can drive it like a four cylinder car and it will give you the fuel cylinder uh, a fuel a consumption. You can drive it like a V6 car and it will give you the V6 fuel economy. You know, the power is honestly, you look, all these things I'm doing, you can't get it from the automatic. Yeah, there's a way you do it, but the manual one is more fun because you have to know the how when to shift, you know. You do the calculation and uh, understand. Oh man, I love this car. Fucking love this car. Damn. Honestly, go and get your own Pojo car. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this car is. Something else, as you can see, it's like goosebumps all over my body. Well balanced, stable. No matter the speed you push it, it's stable. It doesn't swerve. It doesn't shake. It doesn't feel unsafe. Very, very safe. No matter the speed. Right now, the the steering is very, very heavy to turn, which gives you the vehicle the balance it needs. No matter what happens, unlike the ones that have very light steering and high speed. So that any small thing you do it, the vehicle can go out of balance. And then of course you know what will happen. But this one, no. Nah. You know the good thing about this thing, you can just drop the steer, drop the gearbox down, push it up again, go back to the higher speed. You know. Then and people are saying gear manual gearbox is no fun. You don't know what they are talking about. Yeah, I know the the automatic these days, they are faster because they, they, they design to they shift faster now. So unlike the manual that takes some seconds to depress the clutch and shift the gear lever and all that. But man, that is not the, to me that's not a fun because the fun part of it is you get to decide. You get to decide, you push the clutch. Oh come on, who doesn't like this car? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Wow, 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 I love this car, man. Fuck, man. Fuck! <laughs> yeah! Guys, ah, uh, man, I love it. Love, 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 love. Get the fuck out. Oh, fuck. This is why I, I bought this vehicle and it's serving that people. Oh, my budget car so far, this is, um. <sighs> yeah! <laughs> so, um. For those who still feel ah, but your V4 is inside, it's not fun, it's this and that. Yeah, well, you have it, you know, because I'll soon be. Oh, 33 minutes now, guys, I'll be going off now so that I continue having my fun. So now you've seen it. Um, anything you want to know about but your four is VCs, now you've seen it, especially the manual one. I will do a review soon. Um, a POV uh, drive with uh, four seat VCs automatic and other Peugeot cars as well. So, you know, yeah, you can enjoy the automatic. Um, it's just that it takes some effort. Unlike this one, that is effortless. You know what I mean is, it, it, it could just be because you are pressing the accelerator, you know, and it moves. Yeah, kinda. Well, when I do the test, we'll find out how you can also enjoy the automatic, even though it's not as fun as the manual, okay? But you can still enjoy it. 
so um guys uh, i'll leave you now so that let me have my fun and um it was a good time you know doing this having doing this video and show you people what i've been enjoying for the past seven years yeah so um all right guys